Hi, I'm William Sheckle from the Chambers Rescue Channel, and today we're going to talk about how to move your Chambers stove. To move your Chambers, there's a couple tools you need. You need two wrenches. One's a 3 -eighth, a 3 8 wrench. You're going to use that to take the side panels off. You need an adjustable wrench or a channel lock in order to take the legs off. A box, a dolly to put the stove on, and an assistant. I strongly recommend teenagers as an assistant. They're already greasy, so if they get a little grease from the ah. stove on them, no one will ever know the difference. So let's, uh, let's take a look at what you need to do to get this stove ready to move. In order to move a stove, you want to do two things. You want to make it less fragile and you want to make it lighter. So we start by taking off all the parts that come off easily. Don't forget the drip pan in the back. As I've mentioned in other videos, everybody always forgets this is there. When you take off the burner grates, remember these are cast iron, they're fragile. You don't want to drop them, you don't want them banged around. Put these in last. Put the burners themselves in first. Put the drip rings in. And put the burner grates down on, uh, on top of them. Take off the other parts like the thermo well lid and the pilot cover. Again, you want to rest these on top so they don't get scratched. And the, two, the burner and the burner grate from your thermo well. This is everything for the, the, uh, the, for the stove top. Now we want to take care of the pantry and the oven. Pantry, you want to take out the shelf. Really just because you don't want it rattling around. In the oven, you're going to take out the rack. and the bottom of the oven floor, this baffle. Remember, lift it up a couple inches, pull it out, slide it out, and hand it to your assistant. This just lost you a lot of weight for the next step. And then, of course, take off your oven burner as well. It's another heavy weight that you don't have to deal with while you're moving your stove now. Okay, we've made the stove lighter. Some people like to also take off the broiler burner itself. I like to leave it on if I can, simply it gives you a little less to do and you have enough work ahead of you. That doesn't add that much weight. The next thing we need to do to be able to move this is to get a dolly under it so we can get the legs off of it. This is why you really need an assistant. What you really wanna do is get the side panels off so they don't get damaged during transport. What this does is make sure this, they, they don't add that much weight, but what they really do is add a lot of fragility. You're gonna need to go up a ramp. Uh, uh, you don't want to get these caught on the bottom. They'll push up, the porcelain will crack, and you'll take something that lasted 70 years and you'll be the one who wrecked it. Don't be that person, take these off. It's really easy. All you need is one three eighths of an inch wrench. There are two bolts on the, on the very bottom of either panel. All you have to do is loosen them a little and they pull right out. That's the bolt right here. If they're really tight, you can loosen them with a little WD-40. But you can usually just give them a little turn. Remember, there's one here and there's one in the back on either side. You need to loosen both of those. All you have to do is lift them up and then move them safely away. Sometimes this insulation is adhered to the side of the stove, sometimes it's not. If it is, if it comes loose, just stick it in here and you can get to it later. Do the same thing on the other side.
and that's it. You can see this one's still stuck on, no need to take it off. Now that the side panels are off, the next thing to do is get the legs off. You can only do that when it's on a dolly. This is going to make sure that your porcelain doesn't get scratched and you can roll it up a ramp into the house and, and get started. In order to get the dolly under, you have one person on one side lift up and the second person push the dolly in perpendicular to the whole stove a little off center. The reason you want to lift up on the pantry side is because it's much lighter. There's no insulation over here except in the thermal well. The oven's a lot heavier. You have all that steel, all that insulation, cast iron door. So it's easier to tilt up on this. And you only want to do this for a second because the legs, you don't want to overstress the legs. And you want to get them off before you move so they don't get stuck on a ramp, on a stoop, on a stair. Trust me, it happens all the time. Better safe than sorry. Get it on a dolly and it's a lot easier. Okay, assistant, you ready? Yeah. Okay, count of three. One, two, three. Ten. And that's it. Now you can move this around, but now you need to take the legs off so that you can do it. Now, the reason I chose a teenager as an assistant is neither of us is ridiculously strong. We are not linebackers, but you see how easily we just got that up and that underneath. None of this requires you to have bulging muscles. It just requires you to have... <laughs> just Except me, of course. Just, it, uh, none of this requires you to have bulging muscles, um, but it does require you to have timing and just some good leverage. Now we're going to take the legs off. Okay, with the dolly in place, the legs are ready to unscrew. Now you see, they're threaded so that you can level them. All you have to do is unscrew it. Again, if they stick, a little squirt of WD-40 is all you need. I've seen two types of legs with bolt placement. One is what you see right here, where the bolt is below where the, the leg screws in and sometimes that bolt is on top for what you know for whatever reason these are the two different styles that you're going to have if you don't see a bolt when you look under you're going to want to reach up and around this is all hollow see my fingers up there the bolt might be up here instead so make sure you grab that and loosen it and if it doesn't come off with a turn of your hand, grab some WD-40 and give it a squirt and wait a few minutes. Once you get the leg off, the only other thing that you might need to look around for is this washer. Now again, I have seen this bolt be on, uh, inside the stove and underneath the stove. The washer is always going to be right next to it. Make sure you have all three parts and then do the exact same for the other three legs as well. When you put the legs back on, Remember, these screw in to be the height you need them to be. So you don't need a shim to level your stove. This will screw in and then you just screw it so, it is, so that your stove is level and at the height you want. Do this for all four legs and you're set. And that's really it. Once the legs are off, this will move freely around. It isn't really hard. Just put a little bit of weight behind it and it's gonna move freely. Up a ramp in, into a truck, no problem at all. Uh, if you're moving up a flight of stairs, you want a furniture dolly, again, on the bottom, and then you're going to want to take the front panel off as well. That's a different story for a different day. For most moving, and I'm going to say for 99% of the moving that I do, this is more than enough. Just when you strap this into your truck, your van, whatever you've got, pad the front heavily, especially at the corners, and do not have a strap going across the handles. These barrel pins, have one manufacturer and they, they're like a $30 screw. You don't want to have to replace them. So you put the this, this strap underneath on the doors, padding heavily in the front. It's a 70-year-old porcelain. You want to make sure that you're protecting it. And especially at the corners where it's going to stress and pull against the strap in your truck, you want to pad it extra heavily here. You'll get it home safely, you'll get it in your house safely, and you'll be ready to get to work on your new chambers. Thanks, and don't forget to subscribe for the next video, and if you have any suggestions for videos you'd like to see, please leave a comment below. Thanks.